Hi, <laughs> I'm Good Pop, and I'm Bad Pop. And guess what? If you came here for some lighthearted humor, <laughs> I got nothing but bad news for you. <laughs> Winning! It's not all bad news. <laughs> you dudes out there who haven't learned your lessons, you are operating at a huge disadvantage. <laughs> it's costing you out your own asses. It f***s up the ass, shits at the mouth, Piss out the nose, dookie out the ear, diarrhea out the dick, shits for the birds. Oh. If I had gotten some of this information in my younger days, things might have played out different. And Bad Pops here to bust out their tricks. With that being said, let us begin. Yeah. I sat down with a woman on a first date over some cocoa. And she literally asked me about my 401k. And I responded, are you Jewish? L'chaim, bitch. <laughs> Newsflash, dating for dudes is unfair. <laughs> you're pulling down 125K a year and you're dating a woman from the flower shop who's making 25. You decide you're gonna pay full retail for that. You marry it. This is what you're risking, half of all your shit. Alimony, half your retirement, your house, your car, and worst of all, your kids. And what is she really risking in this whole equation? Let me think. That's right, the pink pocket. Pussy. Hey, you should be holding all the cards. And if you're not, shame on you for giving them away for free. Lies, distrust, mixed messages. This is turning into a real marriage. Being single, yeah, no, yeah. It has its ups and downs, what can I say? Thanks to the no-fault divorce and the radical feminists out there, we're now in the third generation of dudes raised by women. You smoke ganja? A lot of dudes walking around there are nothing but white knight meat sack automatons. Basically trained to white knight women and operate in the mangina spectrum. Because you've been raised by women, your mind has been clouded with false expectations and illusions that have been drilled into men's heads by women who see men as nothing more than wallets with eyeballs. That's how it goes. And one of the reasons why we men are at a huge disadvantage, and this is the truth, be prepared to laugh, but your peg D up until 34 is a divining rod. And it's just riding you through life like, hey, slot C over here? Oh no, over there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> This information is mainly for tier one, tier two dudes. Let's face it, a tier two dude is really only 20 to 40 pounds away and a good job for being a tier one dude. The tier three dudes, the fat ex cons, ah! slathering through the world, you know, I got nothing for you. I'm such an asshole, this is hilarious. So basically, men are looking for looks, they're operating on a one dimensional playing field. Oh. Women are shopping for the whole package, money, looks, power, the whole deal. They're, they're operating in three dimensions. They're three dimensional, you're one dimensional, you will always be outmaneuvered. Am I wrong? Wait, wait. Gonorrhea, no. <laughs> Chick questions and a job interview. No, <laughs> change your game. Pound sand up your twats. Just like in martial arts, for every move, there's a counter move. And I'm gonna teach you that here today. For the role of the slot C, <laughs> should be no surprise, good pop. Oh. As bad pop, it is my responsibility to warn y'all <laughs> that dick moves are afoot. Just saying. What do you do for a living? She's asking you this because she knows in her mind that an engineer makes over 100k a year and she wants you to spend that money on her. Do you have a house or do you have an apartment? She wants to know if you own a house because she wants f***ing half of it. Edit that out. Oh. You counter with, do you know how to operate a goddamn iron? What do your parents do for a living? Were you born vaginally or by C-section? Because C-sections are four times more expensive than vaginal delivery. You know, are you in good health or any health problems with your family? My old man's got a little bit of a ticker problem, but you know, he ate like shit when he was younger. But uh, yeah, I'm doing okay. 
Do you have any health problems or do your parents, I mean, is everything cool? It's the same question, but she just wants to know if there's gonna be any future expenses that are gonna take money away from her. You're just asking, am I gonna be paying full retail for defective merchandise? When you retire, where are you planning on retiring to? I'm gonna retire when my parents retire down in Florida. And while we're on the subject, what are, what are three spices that you put in a spaghetti sauce? You're asking this because if you're gonna pay full retail for it and retire with it, it better know how to cook. So, like, do you own a car or do you lease a car? What is the serving temperature of a pork roast? Oh. <laughs> what do you do with your free time? Do you have any hobbies? Scuba dive, skydive, and I do competitive shooting. It sounds innocent, but it's not. You have just disclosed that you spend a lot of disposable income that she's gonna want spent on her in the future if you decide to pay full retail for it. What kind of pets do you have? If she has one dog and she takes good care of it, she knows how to nurture something, which is a winning. Do you smoke? No, I've never smoked anything. Now, do you smoke ganja or do you just smoke? <laughs> so, uh, how old is your car? So how many ex-husbands or boyfriends do you have? You're asking this because you're gonna do the math in your head and see if she can pass the dick stacking test. This is why I'm covering this, because this has happened to me! You go to church? How often do you go to church? Well, yeah, I go to church like three or four times a year. But while we're at it, uh, what are the two spatulas you find in the kitchen and what are they for? She's asking you about God because she's gonna change the letters around and turn you into a dog and parade you around on her leash. And you're asking about spatulas because, hey, you gotta know if she can cook. Otherwise, <laughs> you're jumping the fence. Do you like your mother? Yeah, she's all right, I get along with her. So, uh, were your parents divorced? She's asking if you like your mother because upon that answer will depend upon how much she can control you and how deep that control can go. Pound sand up your twats. Were your parents divorced? Because if they were, you're gonna ask further questions to find out if her father was living in a shack getting drained to death for most of his life. Because guess what? That's how she was programmed. And you need to know that ahead of time or it's your ass. Oh. This is Dating Disparages. Had some good news. And some bad news for you. I know that I could not have covered every possibility here for dating disparages. If you have any suggestions, comments below, baby. You know the drill. And if you're in Michigan or any of those other states that has a 10 cent deposit, I drink a lot of beer. And if you do, take them back and send that money our way on our patron page so we can keep this going. And while we're at it, ladies, please hit the subscribe button, because if you do, I'll actually tell you what the serving temperature of a pork roast really is, because I know you don't know. <laughs> I'm such a dick. <laughs>